What's up YouTube? Back with a, another unboxing and no, this is not the Doxa that we're going to be unboxing today and looking at. This is just a uh, quick unboxing of a cologne that I discovered that is uh, phenomenal, well, perfume, whatever. Um, it's one of those unisex type brands, kind of like Tom Ford, not necessarily made for a man or a woman, but you kind of pick out what smells good to you. And uh, Tom Ford is my go-to. So I fi figured I'd branch out and get uh, a Barreto. They're a high-end um, perfume house, whatever they're called. I can't remember the perfumery, whatever. And um, they make really good stuff made in France. So let's check this one out. This is called Mumbai Noise. And if you're a Tom Ford fan like I am, their uh, all their kind of musk flavor smells like their uh, oud wood, oud wood, however you say that, and their uh, tobacco vanilla, and their new Eben Fume. Um, you'll like this. This is very similar to those smells. Very masculine. Uh, lots of uh, musk and wood and spices in the influence of this cologne pretty cool unboxing really cool stickers that hold it together real fancy embossed logo let me turn up my brightness here guys okay let's check this guy out real quick before we get to the watch and there it is so that's this guy let's see what this is probably like notes maybe of how it smells i guess something like that how do we open this Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what this is. There we go. Sorry. Hard to tell behind the camera. Let's see what this is real fast. Okay. Ben Gorham. I'm guessing that is the... Hmm. I'm guessing that is the designer of... The smell or burrito, who knows? No time. So yeah, there it is, guys. This is the smaller version, the 1.75, 50 mils or 1.6 fluid ounces, 50 mils. Um, but it's good stuff. Check it out. Usually, it's higher. Higher end malls have this brand, and uh, like I said, if you're a Tom Ford fan, you'll probably like this. So pretty cool. All right, let's get to the main event, the Doxa Sub 300T. Um, very cool diving brand, guys. If you haven't heard of them, do some research. Uh, they only do dive watches. That is, that's what they're famous for. Um, this particular one, let me look at my notes here, came out in 1968. Is when this was launched. The Conquistador, or the Sub 300T is what this one is called. And it is a 1,200 meter diving watch. So you've got the box, you've got this really cool... It looks waterproof. I don't know if it really is because like this seam, you can kind of tell, but I think it's meant to be a waterproof case, but I don't think it is. Um, really, really nice case. And then you've got your, um, I bought this from Watches of Switzerland in uh, Dallas, Texas, but they have them all over the world. And that's your international warranty card uh, that they fill out for you in the store. Set this to the side and let's check this out. So there it is, that famous cushion case um, that Doxa is known for. Um, I got mine on the rubber strap. I got a few little trinkets in here, nothing important. And, um, you know, I looked at the ones on the steel bracelet, but the rubber strap was so dang comfortable, guys. And I really like the orange. This is going to be a summer watch for me. Obviously, I don't know who would really wear this in like the fall and winter. Maybe you would, um, but mostly a summer watch. And uh, I wanted the orange one. The orange one is, I would say, what Docs is known for. It's the one you've seen in uh, different films. Uh, Jacques Cousteau famously wore it on a lot of his expeditions. Um, see if I can get my phone to focus. That's really being bizarre. Man, I'm sorry, guys. The, uh, the glare in my room today, I use natural lighting is really bad. There we go. So you can see the Doxa Automatic Sub 300T Professional. This has a Swiss, um, um, I believe it's an ETA movement. It's 38 hours power reserve, 25 joules. Um, 
I'm pretty sure this is a Swiss at a movement. It doesn't say on their website. Um, and I can't remember what the guy told me in the store. Um, it's 1,200 meters of water resistance. Sapphire crystal. Um, again, that cushion case, helium escape valve. They were the first ones to do a helium escape valve, on my, to my knowledge. The clasp is really nice because it's got that ratcheting clasp for going over a wetsuit. That's not how I use it. That's how uh, most people aren't going to use it because most people don't even dive with their watches. Um, I use it in the summer uh, to expand when my wrist expands. Throughout the day, I'll wake up in the morning. It's one size. Throughout the day, it expands as I, my body heats up. And then in the wintertime, obviously, it's a lot thinner. So um, I've been wearing it about right there, and it's perfect for me. This is one of those straps that you have to cut down to your size. Um, when I saw this in the store and they took it out of the case, this strap, I kid you not, guys, it was huge, gigantic. It looked like a necklace. It was just comically large. And I don't have big wrists. My, my wrists are about oh, a little over six and a quarter. And um, it just looked so silly. So anyways, they cut, they cut it down, and it's best to take off as little as you can and then go from there. And uh, after about 30 minutes, we got it just right. And uh, I've got it to where it's pretty tight, but I can use that expansion. And you can see how far it comes out. So um, works really, really well. Uh, milled clasp, super secure. This strap is the thickest I have ever seen in a watch. And it is incredibly comfortable. This is a pretty heavy watch. I think the case is pretty heavy. Obviously, to get that 1,200 meters water resistance, um, it probably has to be pretty overbuilt. And uh, it's, it's a lot of weight, but the strap really supports it well. Um, so like I said, I went with the orange version. These come in all different colors, guys, and the color corresponds with the name. So I think they have one that's called the Shark Hunter. Um, they've got, um, I can't remember the different names, like Dive Master or whatever, and they correspond with the different colors. But the original is the orange. I guess they did um, some tests in France, I believe, in a lake in France, um, and they showed that at, uh, I think it was 30 meters under the water, uh, the orange was the most legible. Um, something about the color in water made the dial easy to see, so they named this one the Professional. So the only ones that have the Professional name are the orange, um, the orange divers. And that's the one that I wanted. Um, and so um, I think it looks great. I feel like Doxa, this is just, a, when I think of Doxa, I think of orange. And I, I really like getting things that are kind of original to the brand um, and exemplify kind of what that brand is. So got a little Doxa here. The case back, um, supposedly the movement is decorated by Doxa, but you don't get to see it. Um, sorry, I got a little smudge there. Um, all you see is kind of a, a, sh a sailboat, Doxa Sub 300T, helium valve, patented. Uh, what else do you see? 120 Atmos, um, atmospheres, and so um, there's where you get that 1200. 1200 meters of water resistance, which is substantial. Um, this is the deepest diving capable watch that I own. I think the second one I have is my Darth Tuna, which is a thousand meters. So 1200 meters, guys, that's that's pretty impressive. That's quite a feat of engineering, especially, um, you know, to, uh, to make that uh, way back when. So very, very impressive. Uh, love the watch, guys. Let me put it on the wrist and check it out. Um, wears really well. It's a big case. It is uh, 42 by 44.5. Um, the height is 14 millimeters. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a substantial wash, but just like the, the Seiko Turtles and um, all the cushion case watches, they all wear really well for their size. Um, you know, the case is big, but the dial sinks in and it just gives it a much smaller appearance than what it really is. So I think even if you have smaller wrists, you can pull this off. And I, again, it's meant to be a big diver. So um, it kind of looks the part. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm in love with it. This is going to be my uh, summer watch of choice and um, been wanting one for quite a while. They're hard to find in um, stores. I think you pretty much have to go to kind of a high-end Swiss watch store to find them. And even then, you might be lucky. They just, I think Doxa for a long time only sold direct-to-consumer 
And in the very beginning, they were only going to like dive shows to sell their watches. So you can buy them directly off their website, which is what I would do uh, if I were you. Uh, if you can't go find one in store, buy them directly from Docs's website. Um, that's probably be your safest bet. And uh, you can see all the different colors they have. They've got them in teal and white and yellow. Um, and of course the orange. Um, but in my opinion, if you really want, if you're going to have one Doxa, go for the orange. Go for the the original. That's what they're known for. It's what they're made famous. You know, they were made famous with that orange dial. Um, but that's just my opinion, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, I love the brand. I think they're cool. They're unique. You don't see them that often. Um, most people, you know, unless you really know what it is, you would never notice that it's like a really cool watch. You know, most people are looking for Rolexes and Omegas and things, and most people have no idea what a Dox is. Even some watch people, actually. So, uh, pretty cool watch, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I think it's perfect for summer. We've got some beach vacations lined up. Um, and I think just relaxing on the beach with this thing on your wrist is just awesome. So, it does have the date window. Um, the loom is okay. Uh, it's not the best I've ever seen, but it works. Um, again, it, they also come on the bracelet, and it's a kind of a beads of rice bracelet. Be prepared because the bracelet is chunky and heavy, um, and the watch is already heavy. Is so when I picked that thing up, it was like a tank, which isn't a deal breaker. But I just think for a summer watch, and that's what you're going for. I think the the rubber bracelet just makes sense. So, anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, you have anything that any comments that i may have missed i appreciate it and uh yeah pretty cool watch guys i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching